Alexa, tell me the time. It is 4.36 p.m. The day is Thursday, December 24th, 2020. Merry Christmas. Ah, humbug. A humbug is a person or object that behaves in a deceptive or dishonest way, often as a hoax or in jest. Would you like to hear more? Of course I don't want to hear more. Didn't want to hear that in the first place. Alexa, stop saying Merry Christmas. I could be wrong, but I believe that Christmas is celebrated on the 25th of December. Bah! Sheep say bah. Shut up! Ratchet, you're late. Oh, sir, they, they only allow two customers in the store at a time. The line was long. I told you to return at 4.30 p.m., not 4.36 p.m. But your packages, sir, you needed them delivered and, and you didn't want me taking them to the post office. Of course, I didn't want you taking them to the post office. The postal system is rubbish. UPS was swamped. UPS charges an arm and a leg. They lose everything. Should I have used FedEx? Whatever happened to that good old reliable Pony Express? Here's what I found on Wiki. The Pony Express went bankrupt after 18 months in the invention of the telegraph. I thought I told you to shut up. Next time, Cratchit, find a cheaper route. Like the post office, sir? I am deducting a half hour from your wages for being late. You might have missed a very important client. Now you check emails and see if we missed anything. Of course, sir. I'll check right away. Someone's in the waiting room. Who is it? Oh, it's your nephew, Fred. Ah, he's not a customer. Don't let him in. Oh, but sir, he is your nephew. Shouldn't you at least see what he wants? He can call me on the phone if he wants to talk. Ah, uh, ah. Fred calling. Well, but sir, you said that, that you would- uh, I know what I said. I'm working. The dirty hippie good for nothing can find another day to get a hold of me. It's Christmas Eve, sir. It's Christmas Eve, sir. Christmas is for suckers. It's for corporations to make a killing, a killing off of suckers like you who have half a dozen children, no means to support them. We're doing just fine, sir. You will be out of a job if you keep arguing. Get to work. Well, that is definitely Fred, right? Well, there would be only one way to know, sir. No, no, it's definitely Fred because it says, definitely not Fred. We are not letting him in. There, there, a customer, let him in. If you say so, sir. Mm. Uncle Scrooge, Merry Christmas. Ah, humbug. I can't believe the only way I can get a hold of you is sneaking into your remote work channel for your company. Did you get any of my voicemails or text messages? No, I don't think I got any. Must be something wrong with my phone. Alexa, did I get any phone calls from my nephew, Fred? All voicemails deleted from Dirty Hippie. Great, what? How did she get set to call you that? Alexa, you can't call my nephew a Dirty Hippie. Change that, his name is Fred. Changing Dirty Hippie to Fred. Well, I care for you too, uncle. I've been worried sick about you. Are you feeling well, staying safe? Feeling very well, fit as a fiddle. Well, do you need anything? Well, I don't want you going out and taking a risk of getting the virus. I have everything I need. What could you possibly get from me that I couldn't get for myself? I'm not trying to imply that you can't- I have worked every day of my life, weekends even, earned every nickel I have. Of course, Uncle, I didn't I started mean with nothing, as broke as you are now, and worked my way up, day after day, year after year, to run this whole company. 
and you think you can give me something I can't get for myself? Emma's homemade chicken noodle soup? Well, if, if you're in the neighborhood, I wouldn't mind a bowl. I'll drop a gallon. Also, I'm having a Christmas party. Remote, of course, but oh, we'd love to have you. The parties are always full of deadbeat socialists and broke anarchists. I have no time for parties. Bob and I plan to be right here taking payments from our customers. Well, but sir, you, you said I could leave at five tonight. Emily is having our family dinner. She'd be so disappointed if I missed it. It's Christmas Eve, sir. It's Christmas Eve, sir. You just took a break. You think money isn't due just because it's a holiday? Uncle, the man needs to be home with his family for Christmas Eve. You know, uh, who values laziness over hard work? Socialists. Who are you to tell a man to take time off? You can barely scrape together a living. I've been laid off because of COVID. Oh, you know the circumstances, Uncle Scrooge. Laid off because of COVID. Who ever heard of such nonsense? Shutting down an entire economy. Sick people die, whether it's from COVID or flu, some other human weakness. Uncle, you can't possibly mean that. I do mean exactly that. Sick people will die. It is what it is. Bob, I, I apologize for my uncle, especially considering you're Tiny Tim. Don't apologize for me. Don't be encouraging working employees to lose their jobs and take money for free. It's not free money, uncle. It's called unemployment insurance. It's called handouts from the government. Uncle, the invitation stands. I've sent you the remote link in email and text. We would love to see you there. Happy holidays, Uncle. Oh, Bob, uh, happy holidays. Uh, send my regards to your wife and children. Ah, I'm Bob. About 5 p.m., sir. Ah. Uh? We have loans to collect. We can't be sleeping late and eating roast turkey on the government's dime. Now you heard what I said. Be off with you. Enjoy my generosity. Of course. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow at 8. I, I, may I log in from home at least? Oh, sure. You can, though. Roll out of bed and pretend to work. And I can pay you for doing nothing. No problem at all. 7 a.m. sharp to make up for me letting you leave early tonight from the office. Yes, sir. Merry Christmas, sir. See you in the morning. Alexa, set out of office notification for remote customers. You're out of office notification. Hello, customers. We are not available at the moment, but you still need to pay your loans. A manager has been notified and will be on shortly to collect. Has been set. And change Fred's name back to Dirty Hippie. <laughs> Fred Scrooge is changed to Dirty Hippie. Someone is at the front door. Open live video. Must be bread with a soup. I do love chicken noodle soup.
and doorbell feed. Open feed. Let me talk. Opening microphone. Hello. Hello. Scream. Who is it? What do you want? I'm not coming to the door. Scream. <laughs> Is that? Oh, no, oh, it can't be. Alexa, Alexa, can you zoom in? <laughs> I must be seeing things. Whatever it is, it's gone now. Whoa, gave me a startle. Alexa, play Mozart's Piano Concerto number three. Now playing Despacito, featuring Daddy Yankee. No. Turn that off. Play some classical music. Now playing a selection of classical music. <laughs> mm. Oh, my nephew's fiance might be as bad as he is, but she sure can make chicken noodle soup. What is this? Who dare to use my dead partner's name? Scrooge. Who is this? Scrooge. <coughs> Who are you? Scrooge. I can't figure out how to turn on my video. Bottom right hand side, there's a little camera. No, I don't see it. Where no, no. It? Use your mouse and go down to the right. The right. No, sorry, left. Uh, there's a microphone and, and a camera and a little button that should turn okay. it on. Can can you see me now? <laughs> you look terrible. Oh. Mm. Stop that creepy scrooging. I don't know who you are, or where you got the Marley mask. But I'm calling the authorities if you don't take it off. I am Marley, your partner, dead these seven months. In your haunting remote calls now. I mean, do I have anything better to do? Go towards the light, or whatever it is you see. Leave me in peace. I've been stuck watching you since I died. Scrooge. And can little home? It's been really boring. Why wait until now to pop up? Because your time grows. be visited three times tonight by three avatars. <laughs> avatars? Are they, they're, they're like, a, a, I don't know, they're like those... Oh, like in the movie, those blue things. Yeah. No! It, no! More... Like memojis, everyone uses on Facebook these days. <clears throat> Since when have you been on Facebook? You could barely use a keyboard. What else have I had to do these past seven months? Hmm? So, an emoji is going to visit me three times. No, not emoji. Me emoji. It's it's like a GIF that represents a person. GIF. Like peanut butter. <laughs> no, a GIF, like a picture that represents a person. Ah, you mean a GIF. Whatever. You're going to have three visitors tonight. I don't want any visitors. It's late. I'm tired and I'm social distancing. You don't really get a choice, Scrooge. This is your last chance. Ah, my last chance. 
change or suffer the consequences. Well, that sounds awfully ominous. Scrooge! Jacob, you're breaking up. What do you mean change? Change how? Remember what I told you, 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 you. Three yes. av av avatars. Yes, I won't forget. Your, 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 your last chance, chance, chance. So you said. Change, 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 or suffer, 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 suffer. This is getting a little old. I can't figure out how to leave the meeting. Bottom right, move your mouse around. There's a button that touch it says leave meeting. Alexa, whatever it is, stop it. Now playing Hanson's Mbop. No, no, no. Alexa, shut up. Stop playing music. Turn up the alarm. Huh. What time is it? The time is 1 a.m. Friday, December 25th. Silence. I did not set the alarm for 1 a.m. Now playing Last Christmas by Wham. Oh, no. Stop playing music. Turn off the lights. Play some uh, relaxing tunes. Now playing Chats with Fanny on Zoom. I think all were gone when a group of savage boys surrounded Hook, who seemed to have a charmed life as he kept them at bay in that circle of fire. They had done for his dogs, but this man alone seemed to be a match for them all. Again and again, they closed upon him, and again and again, they, he hewed a clear space. He had lifted up one boy with this hook and was using him as a buckler when another, who had just passed his sword through Mullins, sprang into the fray. Put up your swords, boys, cried the newcomer. This man is mine. What is this? It's Peter! Alexa, where did you find this? Thus suddenly, Hook found himself face to face with Peter. The others drew back and formed a ring around them. For long, the two enemies looked at one another, Hook shuddering slightly, and Peter with a strange smile upon his face. So, Pan, said Hook at last, this is all you're doing? Aye, James Hook came the stern answer. It is all my doing. Proud and insolent youth, said Hook. Prepare to meet thy doom. This was her favorite part. This is my favorite part! Shing, dark and sinister man, have at thee. Father's coming. I'll be right back, Ebenezer. Ebenezer, you're still at school? Uh, of course I'm still at school. Did your dad forget to pick you up again? Dude, that sucks. My mom wanted me to come home, but I told her I took my schoolwork. My, my father didn't forget me. I, I didn't want to go home. I was about to go to snow for. Did you want to come? A snow fort? Or we can go sled behind the dorms. Do you have a sled? Sledding behind the dorms? I, I don't have a... No, no. I have to study for a test and I'm in the middle of a call with my sister. I'm sure your sister wouldn't mind if you just call her back later. Studying can wait. Let's have some fun. Studying can't wait. If I fail my class, my father will... Your father will, what? Nothing. My father wouldn't understand. Go, I'm not coming. <laughs> All right, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. I have the very best 
Fresh news. Oh, Fanny. Fan Scrooge, born in 1963, died in 19. Ebony, is there? Father says we're coming to pick you up from boring school tomorrow. For, for what? For for a day? For a weekend? Forever, Ebenezer. What? I don't understand. I I thought he. It's changed, Ebenezer. I don't know how to explain it. Last night he wished you were home for Christmas, so I asked if you could come. That I miss you, and you know what he said? What? He missed you too, and he wanted you home. You're coming home for Christmas, Ebenezer, and for good! Pause. Enrollment records show E. Scrooge attended boarding school for six more years. I had to work hard and study. Prove that I could earn a living. More than a living, a fortune. Enrollment records show entry-level position with Fezziwig in 1985. No more. I want to sleep. I don't feel well. Now playing phone calls to Bell. No. No, Alexa. No. Save video recording December 4th, 2.43 p.m. Ebenezer. I can't wait for dinner tonight. I haven't seen or spoken to you in weeks. I've been so busy with your new job. I, I, I know you enjoy consulting for Fuzzy Week, but uh, travel is exhausting. And I, I miss you. You're probably on the plane now, um, but uh, I'm looking forward to, to some time alone together. Something I want to tell you. I've been waiting to tell you. Something good, something important. I'll see you soon. Same video recording, December 4th, 6.02 p.m. Bell, <laughs> I'm sorry I missed you. Um, Dick picked me up from the airport and he, he whisked me off to this club to celebrate the new account. And a promotion. <laughs> uh, Fezzy Wig and the whole office are here. Uh, you should, should come by. Take a taxi. We can talk at the club. Same video recording, December 4th, 9.18 p.m. I went to the club. I uh, couldn't find you. We haven't talked in uh, weeks. Uh, you leave tomorrow. Where are you? Please, Ebenezer, call me. Same video recording, December 5th, 10.22 a.m. No, last night was a mistake. Uh, I shouldn't have asked you to come out. I, uh, I had so much to drink that I lost. All track of time and space. I, I shouldn't have asked you to come out. Um, my plane leaves at one. I'll come by before then. We can talk. No, oh, no more. Stop, please. Save video call December 5th, 4 26 p.m. <clears throat> You should have come by. I, I would have loved to see you before you left. And to work, Ebenezer. Yeah, he could have left to see me. <laughs> no, I, I can't just leave work just because you have a free hour. It's, I need my job. I mean, yeah, for now, but that's that's why I'm working so hard. You can leave your job one day. No. I, I don't, I don't want to leave my job. No, I, I enjoy what I do. This isn't about the money. I, I hope you don't feel like you have to like, earn more or work harder for me. I, I'm perfectly happy with what I have now. So you can't be saying that you want to be with somebody who's poor. I'm saying I'm, I want to be with somebody who's here. Then you're saying you don't want to be with me. I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to do this over the phone. Um, 
We can talk when I get when I get home. When? In a month. I, I promise we'll be together soon, okay? Everything's gonna be okay. It'll be all right. But we didn't. I was too busy that weekend and my plane was delayed the next month. And I don't remember. Same video call, February 14th, 6.31 p.m. No, oh, please, Alexa, don't. Happy Valentine's Day. Did you get the flowers I sent you? I did. You didn't like them. But you liked roses. <sighs> Ebenezer, you were supposed to be home this weekend. What happened? Fezziwig, he, you wanted me to stay with the clients and this weekend to make sure nothing went wrong with the new accounts. And then last month and the month before and next month. We never talk. You're never home. Yeah, I will be though, Belle. This isn't forever. I, I, I'm building a future for us. I thought you, you, you understood. I told you that when we first met that I had plans for my career and I, you said you understood and supported that. I have plans too, Ebenezer. I have dreams we we never talked about at all. Yeah, a house and children. My job will give us the money so you can leave your job and raise our kids when the time is right. I already told you I'm not I'm not leaving my job and at sorry, a house and kids? I don't think so, Ebenezer. You don't want kids. I assume that as a teacher that you Oh, maybe one day, maybe not. I don't. I want to travel and see the world. I, I want to I get involved in things that matter. I, I want to make the world a better place. Well, money can do that. Money is the reason the world isn't a better place. <laughs> no, money is not the reason the world isn't a better place. Money makes the world better. Money makes things easier. You think that a poor homeless man on the side of the road is happy? You think that the programs that keep them poor off the backs of the working man? What good are those? I, I plan to, to be able to make enough so I, we can grease the wheels ourselves or, or make the rules ourselves. You want to make the world a better place? That's the way to start. No, Ebenezer, I, I, I don't think that's the way. You can't possibly feel that way either. I do. Then you're asleep to your job and asleep to your money, and that isn't what I want. Then you're saying you don't want to be with me. I guess that is what I'm saying. I don't, I don't want to you I don't I don't want your money I don't I don't want this relationship I don't want to feel like I am wasting my life waiting for you relationships take work Ebenezer they take time and commitment they take two people who treat each other with dignity and respect working towards a common goal you take love too Belle I love you. Yeah, they do take love, Ebenezer. And at one point, I thought I loved you too. But relationships take so much more than love. I'm sorry, but it's over between us. Pause. She never told me she loved me before that, never. We could have worked it out if I'd only known. Why didn't she tell me? I'm not sure I understand. I never saw her again. But as I recall, she met someone else, didn't she? Searching the internet for Bell Hall. anniversary to my adorable wife, Jane. You are kind and devoted, loving and warm. You make me laugh and make me cry, but uh, the good kind of 
You drive me crazy sometimes. And we can never seem to figure out where we're gonna eat or how to pay our bills on time. But you always challenge me to be better and do better. You have been there for me through all of the good times and all of the hard times. And I hope I've been there for you too. I feel like I've spent my whole life waiting for someone like you to walk into it and now I can't imagine my life without you. So, um, for this anniversary, I thought I'd surprise you and a dozen or so Facebook friends of ours with, um, with an announcement that our family is growing not just by one, but by two. <laughs> We're having twins in December. <laughs> so I, I would love to name her Ruth after your mother. And she is going to be mighty and change the world. I love you, Jane. Here is to 10 more years of amazing adventures. You always loved with her whole heart. She just didn't love me. I don't see the point of this. Unwatched video recording, December 5th, 1, 12 a.m. What is this? I don't remember, remember this. Ebenezer, I, I looked everywhere. At the club, I went by your apartment. Even the office, I couldn't couldn't find you. Um, I feel terrible that we couldn't talk tonight. I know that your job with Fezziwig is important and that you work such long hours and that you're gone for weeks or months at a time, but um, I, I see us having a future together and I hope you do too. I'd like to at least try. Would you be willing to find a job here if it meant earning less and being with me more? Uh, I hope you'll consider it. Um, Ebenezer, I love you. Now playing relaxing music. Alexa, turn on the light. Right, right. Get it. Customer at this hour, no, it's what, three or four in the morning? The time is 2 a.m. Friday, December 20th. I didn't ask for that. What was it Marley said? Three avatars, whatever an avatar is. Generally speaking, an avatar is the embodiment of a person or idea. Would you like to hear more? Clearly the person in my virtual waiting room is real. It's not the embodiment of some idea. However, if it is one of these avatars, I simply don't let him in. Letting in customer. Alexa, wait, wait. Good morning, sunshine. Let's just. Oh, no, 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 we aren't doing that tonight. How'd you do that? Magic fingers. You ain't seen nothing yet. You can't take over host privileges. <laughs> this is my business. Alexa, remove customer from call. Alexa, take the night off, honey. Power ring down. How do you can't? Oh. oh, cat got your tongue. I'm unplugging my computer. Go ahead, do what you must, but it won't make any difference. We both know who's in charge here.
Who are you? I'm so glad you asked, sweetheart. Chris present at your service, sir. Avatar number two on the fast track to a total transformation. I don't want any visitors. I am old. I am tired. I need my sleep. I'm old. I'm tired. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody said this was going to be easy, sweetheart. It's time to pull up your big boy pants and take a ride on my one horse sleigh. One horse sleigh. Lift off in three, two, one. What is this? Peter, grab the plates for the pantry. Leave one for your father on the counter. Uh, Bob. You don't know? Bob practice house, but it's so... No, Peter, not the good plates. But what about the environment, Mom? You used an entire notebook of paper trying to draw the perfect unicorn, and now you're worried about the environment? Cozy, quaint, small, and loud. Daddy, do you want to see my unicorn? Abby, baby, I'm so proud of you for protecting the earth, but we also need to take care of mommy, too. I don't have time or energy to do any more dishes tonight. Not with all the mess we're making now. Why can't they see or hear us? Because I am the almighty avatar of omniscience, the pansophical epitome of preeminence, the all-seen apotheosis. <laughs> uh, who are we kidding? There's a backdoor stealth set in the Zoom that only the best hackers know. They can't see or hear a thing we say. <laughs> cool, huh? You wouldn't believe the kinds of things you could hear on the Zoom call. I don't want Abby's pepperoni touching my sausage side. Mom, can I make my own pizza? No, you cannot make your own pizza. You know, Mom said we had to share, and I want pepperoni. Peter gets his own pizza. It's not fair. You're sharing with your father, and no one will have any pizza at all if we don't get these in the oven now. Dustin, remember, we need to share with each other. Daddy, I built a redstone roller coaster on Creative Build today, and then I tried to make a Ferris wheel. Did you know that you can make a propeller for a spacecraft? But it doesn't work yet, so I'm trying to figure that part out. I wanted to check the new updates on Animal Crossing. What about school? Did you learn anything today, Justin? Uh, I forget. Oh, Robert, this online learning is ridiculous. Mom, stick your hand in the box. They want them online from 7.45 to 8.10, and then independent learning. Second graders ended up being the host, and... You have to tell me if it's alive or dead. Please tell me it's not the guinea pig. Remember, Abby, we leave Mr. Pickles in the cage unless Mommy knows you're taking him out. It's not Mr. Pickles. It is too, Mr. Pickles. Then how they want us attending in-person hybrid two days a week, but we can't, Robert. You know we can't. Why can't they? I know we can't. Kids need to be in school. Kids need to feel safe. I went to boarding school seven days a week. And look how you turned out. Pizza's ready. The mitts are on the fridge. Can someone grab them? Oh, where did I put the pizza cutter? Oh, I always leave it in the drawer with the knives. No, I checked there. And the silverware drawer. Dishwasher. Haven't used it in weeks. Found it. Christmas pizza, everyone. Make sure to cut it just the way I like it. I don't want any crust. I'll eat his crust. Get some cups for the soda. Cups that we can recycle. What about Tiny Tim? Do you think she can make it to the table? I have some soup for her. She can eat it in bed. Abby, could you run up a bowl to your sister and check on her quietly? Timothia, I'm coming up with some soup. <laughs> you know, Bob has to live in the garage. I knew he couldn't be around his family, but I guess I assumed that he- Assumed what? I don't know. <laughs> that they lived in a mansion like yours, had a separate wing for every child? No, I guess I didn't think about it much. How was Tim today? We went for a walk. It was cold, so we couldn't stay out long. She wanted to see the squirrels. You can't see them now. Do they even stay here in the winter? But Tim really wanted to see the tree where they had their nest, and she had some color on her cheeks. Mom, can I play switch to the table?
Dim is their youngest, right? You know the rule. Right. Why do you get the iPad then? So that we can see daddy. I remember Tim. She must be what, three, four years old now? Six. Why can't you join them for dinner? There's my girl. <laughs> Peter was right. There is a little color in your cheeks. She was sound asleep. I wasn't sound asleep. I was only half asleep. Sorry, I didn't know you were sleeping, Tim. Glad you woke me. I think I could come down to the table if you want. No, Tim. Rest up and eat the soup Mom made for you. I'm going to make it. Can it. We get pizza. Peter, that's not nice. You know Tim can't have any pizza. No She's one is feeling well enough for? Well, name it, and it's yours. A puppy. No. Me. We're getting a puppy? I want one. Puppy, puppy, puppy. I am not adding a puppy to this mess of a house. Are you out of your minds? Okay, settle down. Anything besides a puppy, Tim? Almost anything. Fine. How about a new PlayStation? <laughs> What's wrong with her? She's sick. COVID. I didn't think kids could get it. It's worse than that. She has leukemia. Uh, is she dying? Bob, your pizza's at the door. Can we make a toast, like we always do? Airplane. Remote air clink. I think we can do that. Does everyone have some water or soda in their cups? Bob, would you like to do the honors? I would like to take a moment to express how grateful we should all be to be together this Christmas Eve in, in our own way, to have family and food and, and our health. God bless us. God bless us all. You are right, Tim. Oh, God bless us all. Even, even Mr. Scrooge, whose generosity in this time when others have so little has been beyond compare. Generosity? I wish I had him here to give him a piece of my mind. Emily, it's Christmas. He's a cold, unfeeling, stingy man who forces you out into the public while he sits at home safe in his mansion. He makes you work early mornings and weekends and holidays and you with a child who would die if she caught the coronavirus. I won't toast him not for your sake or for his, and I won't pretend to like him. I won't wish him a Merry Christmas or a Happy New Year. Men like him don't need good people like us, swallowing our anger and our pride for his sake. Men like him have forced families like ours to the brink of poverty, and you know it. And if I had him here, I would say God should not bless you, Mr. Scrooge, for you have cursed his good name. That is some serious shade she's throwing your way. I'm not that bad, am I? Your person than I am. All I know is that God has blessed us with health and happiness and a bright new year ahead. Well then, God bless us, everyone. I had no idea it was so bad that they disliked me so much, that they had so little, that Tiny Tim was so sick. What will become of her, Chris? Will she live? Can she live? Do I look like the avatar of Christmas future? And what do you care anyway? Sick people die, whether from COVID or the flu or for some other human weakness. Sick people die, it is what it is. But surely you can do something for this child. Why little old me? My magic fingers are limited to only helping you tonight, not Tim. 
If she is to be helped, it must be from some other generous source. But we have more to see, so away we go. Oh, what more? Who? Oh. I scream, you scream, we all scream for not dairy. I scream. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, your turn. My dog is a hard to understand. -a. She's a French poodle with a heavy accent. -a. Uh, that was boring on Italian. <laughs> Fred. Ah, uh, my nephew Fred. Dan's mm. only child. You're upset -y, or feeling regret -y, eat some spaghetti. <laughs> that was totally Italian. Okay, uh, someone do a vampire. A Emma threw me off with her Italian and that's uh, all I can do. Mm. One, two, three. <laughs> I want to suck your blood. Try doing it without the hand. Okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> if you're upset -y or feeling regret -y, eat some spaghetti. Oh, no. That was totally Italian. What are they doing? I can't do it. Just pick a winner. A game. They're playing a game. You remember what those were like, right? People having fun and all that. Yeah, I know what a game is, but this is nonsense. Fine. Uh, Rose wins. Yes. Okay. My turn to judge. And the accent is Grumpy Old Man. Grumpy Old Scrooge, more like it. <laughs> yeah. Of you had no trouble winning this one. All right. All right. That's enough. Uh, who's first? Emma? <clears throat> There's no I in team because I refuse to participate. Ooh, nasty. Stopper, you're next. <clears throat> it's National Transit Day. And frankly, <laughs> I'm going to need a few volunteers. Mm, how about you, Nasty? <sighs> Pretty good. Fred? Can you stopper that? Oh, my turn, my turn. I have one, I have one, I have one. Maybe next year you can be on the family Christmas card. <laughs> Shut up, let me hear Fred talk. Besides, we don't do family Christmas cards. All right, all right. I have one. <clears throat> Everybody say, ooh. Now everybody say, ah! Ah! <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> ah! Oh! Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Bah humbug! <laughs> <sighs> What a miserable old man. Mm, but he sure has a lot of money. Not that he does any good with it, not even for himself. Mm, I could do a lot of good with that money. I'm sure you could. We all could do more. What would you do, Emma, if you had my uncle's fortune? Open a theater? What? I'm serious. Okay, timing isn't great, but the world needs art. Right, the world needs more starving artists. I'd pay off my student loans. I may take a vacation, definitely invest in some new tech products. A little smarter, but I've met that one and he'd spend it all on comic book collectibles, I guarantee. I fund research for COVID and to help the environment. Climate change is coming fast, guys. Rubbish. What about you, Fred? What do you do? I don't know. I guess I'd help Bob first, my uncle's clerk. His daughter has cancer and they can't afford good insurance and good doctors. After that, I think I'd like to make the lives of all the people I love and care about 
including Uncle Scrooge, happy and comfortable? Even Uncle Scrooge. That's a good question, Fred. Even Uncle Scrooge. Especially Uncle Scrooge. I feel sorry for him. I couldn't be angry if I tried. He suffers from his bad attitude. Every year I invite him to our Christmas party and every year he refuses. It must be very lonely for him. Hmm. And he misses out on my stunning personality. <laughs> my mother loved him and, and I love him. And he will always have a place at our table. Or on the Zoom call. Or on the Zoom call. You didn't pick a winner, Rose. But we all know who the loser is, eh, Scrooge? Enough. I've seen enough. It won't be enough until you change, Scrooge. Until you choose a different path. This is the tough love part of the tour, darling. What do you mean, a different path? You want to visit Fred more, help Tiny Tim? I can do that. You don't need to send anyone else. It's more than just doing a good deed today or a good deed tomorrow. Think of it like a, a choose your own adventure. You keep on choosing, you keep on doing good deeds and you start making up for some of the bad ones. And oh my dear, do you have a lot of bad deeds to make up for? I can change. I can't choose to do good. I'm sure you can, doll face, but you got one more avatar waiting for you. Ta-ta for now. No, oh, Chris, don't leave. I, I, I don't want to meet another avatar. I will be good. I'll make all the right choices. I'll pay Bob more, better medical benefits for his family. I'll even help Tiny Tim take him to the best doctors money can afford. I will help out. Fred and his fiance, Emma. What was it she said she wanted? A theater. Uh, yeah, fine, a theater. You hear me? Marley. Alexa. Chris. So this is it. The last avatar. You must be my last visitor. Well, I'm ready for you. <laughs> Leave me be. I have already agreed to change. I told the other avatar, you don't need to show me anything. Can't wait for Ren Fair to open up so I can show them off. They look, look remarkably like my curtains. What on earth is Ren Fair? Look what I scored. Way to socket to the mat. How did she get this? What are you showing me? I don't understand. Good evening. I am the funeral director at Dickens Funeral Home. I see we have one attendee remotely. The deceased is survived by his nephew. At the request of the surviving family, I am documenting the closing of the casket via live stream. If anyone wishes to send cards or flowers, I will leave the link up on our website. If any do arrive, we can forward them to the surviving family. The body was laid for viewing today, December 26th. Though no one attended the service, perhaps due to the pandemic. So no one attended. Who is this man you're showing me? By law, we are required to have two witnesses 
confirm that the deceased is in the correct coffin before we close the lid. I will stand as witness and the one remote viewer will stand as the second witness. Please, never mind. What make you do? This was a lonely time for a lonely man to die. May God bless his soul. Who is that man? I think I see where this is going. First my items and then I die alone. You think I'm too attached to material and wealth? You want me to give it all up? Is that what you want to hear? Done. You want me to help Bob Moore? Visit Fred Moore? Done and done. You don't need to show me anything else. <laughs> you win. I'm a changed man. <laughs> I see the error of my ways. I'm a new man. Total transformation. My We all understand, and Tim does too. Peter, did you find them? I did. Tim, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I'm at the tree, um, your tree, with the squirrels. such a good sister, Tim. You are such a good sister. Such a good child. Her respiratory rate is growing weaker. There's not much time left. Please save her now. Robert, I can't do this. Anne, Emily, we must. Tim, our tiny Tim, she needs us. <coughs> How do we say goodbye? Goodbye? No, we, we don't say goodbye. Tim, we aren't saying goodbye because we know that we will see each other again. Maybe not in this life, but in the next. I, I know this like I know that the sun will rise tomorrow. Like I know that our lives have been made better, stronger for your being in it. You have been our sun and our moon and our stars and your light will blaze across our lives for eternity. Since the day I brought you home from the hospital until the day they took you back, I have cherished every moment. Tim, out of all of my babies, you hold a special place in my heart. I wish I could hold you now. I wish I could be by your side. I wish we had more time. Eternity would not have been enough, Tim. We are with you. It, you we will always be with you and you will always be with us. We love you the way that you taught us to with our whole hearts. And we will go on loving you that way for the rest of our lives. For you, Tim. God bless you. You 
wants to. How could you take this child? How could you let her die? How could I, I let her die? This isn't how it has to be, is it? I could change this. I can make this different. I can help the Cratchits and him. I can see my nephew again. Why else would you show me all this? I can't be past all hope. There must be hope for all of us. I must be able, I must be able to choose my own adventure to do good deeds. Please, Avatar, tell me. Alexa, what day is it? Today is Friday, December 25th. Aren't you going to say it? Say what? <laughs> say it, you beautiful, incredible avatar. Tell me Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Ebenezer. <laughs> it's, Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas Day, and I haven't missed anything. Tiny Tim is still alive. My nephew Fred is having a party, and I'm planning to go. We can start fixing things right now, Call Wholesome Foods. Now video dialing Wholesome Foods. Merry Christmas. How may I assist you? Merry Christmas. I am calling to order a goose. A goose? The biggest one you have. We don't generally carry goose. Turkey? Of course. Uh, what day would you like it delivered? Why, today, of course. Today? Why, it's Christmas Day. We only do pre-orders for Christmas. Bah! Hum! You don't. Where can I order from today? I don't know. Maybe Denny's? Can I help you with anything else? No, thanks. Alexa, place an order at uh, whatever is open. A feast of some kind, food enough for a month. Have it delivered to the Cratchits by noon. Placing an online order for Worldwide House of Pancakes. Oh, it's Bob, it's Bob. This will be fun. Mr. Scrooge, I, I didn't realize you'd be on already. You're late. Alexa, what is the time? The time is 7.05 a.m., Friday, December 25th. I'm hmm? so very sorry, Mr. Scrooge. I, I promise I'll stay an extra hour. You away. should leave at once. Sir? At once. Am, am I fired? Fired. Oh, no, 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 no. Far, far worse. Starting immediately, you have a raise. The 25, no, $30 an hour at $50 an hour. And paid medical benefits, paid vacation and sick time. And starting immediately, you will work from home. I, I, I don't understand. Um, I've been a miserable man to work for a Cratchit. But I'm not so old that I can't start making better choices now. I, I have never complained, sir. I... Oh, no, Bob, you haven't. But you, more than most, have all the reason to. I promise to be a better boss and hopefully a better friend. From this day forward, Merry Christmas. Go home now. I know you can't be with your family yet, but soon you won't have to sleep in the garage. Oh, thank you. Thank you so very much. <laughs> but how did you know I slept in the garage? A uh, little birdie told me. An avatar is more of an incarnate divine teacher, not a birdie. Would you like the definition of a birdie? No, thank you, Alexa. 
Oh, I'm having some food sent to your house for the holiday, if that's okay. Oh, we'd be so grateful. Oh, Merry Christmas, sir. Don't get too excited. It's just pancakes from W Hop. <laughs> ah, Tiny Tim's favorite. Merry Christmas. Call my nephew, Fred. Calling the dirty hippie. <laughs> dirty Uncle hippie. Scrooge. Fred, my dearest nephew, my only family, I am calling to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> and the happiest of all holidays. Are you feeling okay, Uncle? Never felt better in my life. I have lived so many years being so alone and angry, so stingy and miserable with the world. But your mother, I loved her so much and she loved you. I would like it very much if you and I could love each other that way too. Of course we can, I've been, waiting my whole life to hear that, Uncle. Uh, I think I've been waiting my whole life to say it. I would like to come to your party. Planning any games? Have you heard of utter nonsense? I think I have, but I do a terrible vampire accent. Uh, me too. I always end up sounding like an Italian. Good, you're still here. I called Emily from the office to give her all the good news and she wanted a way to thank you personally. There's no need for any thanks, not with all you've put up with these past years. Well, it's a little late for that because our tiny Tim thought you deserved to be thanked in person. Tiny Tim. Mr. Scrooge, my father tells me you're letting him work from home now. Oh, I've been a terrible, miserable employer, Tim, and a terrible human being. I don't think so. Mom says everyone deserves a chance to clean up their mistakes. Even me. Even you, Mr. Scrooge. Well, that means a lot, Tim. I had a friend, a couple of friends, show me the error of my ways. One taught me that relationships take time and effort and so much more than love. Another taught me to choose my own adventure and to keep on choosing it every day. I would like to choose to help the people I love most in life. And we love you and choose you too, Uncle Scrooge. God bless the Cratchits and God bless the Scrooges. God bless us all. And maybe God can bring us a new PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly easier than a theater. God bless us all. <laughs>